Hi, I'm Kitty Lamprecht and I'm your physiotherapist. Um, this is the day before your operation and you're going to have what we call a transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion. Now, that's a big technical word no, um, and I'm going to explain it to you. So, transforaminal means um, it's just how they approach the intervertebral disc lumbar is um, your lower back and fusion means that things are going to grow together now i know that um, this has been explained to you but i'm going to try and explain it to you again also in terms of um, what is important about our program um, and why we don't want certain things to happen so the first thing is that movement in the back takes place over two columns. So you have a front column um, and there in between the vertebrae bodies you find an intervertebral disc. This is like a shock absorber. Um, so, um, or you can think of it as a balloon with jelly in it. So it's got an outer rim, it's a ligament and then a soft center. Um, if you take a balloon with jelly in it, then you will be able, it's nice and bouncy. So um, in that, um, the back has some um, shock absorbing properties. Um, because it's got a soft center, it's got pressure, like you have blood pressure. And it does a little bit what blood pressure does. So if we push our blood pressure up too high, we can have a stroke. Now the intervertebral disc can do the same. So if we, over time and the things like that we do, uh, for instance, sitting, push the pressure up very high um, and the disc deteriorates. So it loses some of that shock absorbing properties. At the back column, you have the fascia joints that is the same as any other joint in the body. It's got nice cartilage and ligament over it, but the fascia joint guide movement but also restricts movement um, what is important about it as your intervertebral body disc deteriorates so does um, the fascia joints which means the cartilage deteriorates the ligaments thicken and that narrows the canal where your nerve is running in and for that reason um, we are going to fuse um, both columns okay so um, transforaminal um, means that they are going to approach the intervertebral disc from the side um, and then they are going to take part of it out and they are going to replace it with spacer that they fill with bone. Now this bone will help the two vertebrae bodies to grow together um, so that you have a fusion. Um, but the spacer is important because it will help to keep the distance between the intervertebral, oh, intervertebral bodies. Um, it's also important to understand that that fusion isn't immediate. This is going to happen over time. So there are, um, it is important that we don't have too much movement on that level so that the bones can fuse properly. Um, then, from the back, um, they are going to put screws in the fascia joints, okay, and that will also be packed with bone, and that is going to form a bony bridge over time. Um, you don't need to worry. When we do your home program, then um, I have quite some nice pictures, and I'm going to explain it and show you again. But um, for the moment, it is important to understand that at the level of your fusion, we don't want too much movement. So that is one of the aims of the, our program. But the second aim is because we form a fusion, we must understand that the disc above your fusion and below are under quite a lot of pressure. So the next part of our program is to try and protect those two discs. So it is for that reason that we are quite strict about sitting. Because when we sit, no matter how properly we sit, the pressure is always high. And that is something that you're always going to have to remember. 
that we need to protect those other discs and keep them nice and healthy. Okay, so um, sitting will be restricted. Okay, um, so what's going to happen tomorrow? When you wake up, you will be lying on your back. Um, and the reason for that is that it gives compression on your wound um, and it prevents too much bruising and that will help with the healing. You are going to have a catheter in, so you don't need to go to the toilet. You will have a drip in um, and you will have some drainage coming out of the back. Um, usually we ask um, patients to lie on their back for at least four hours, but you can move your legs. Um, during those time you don't need to lie like a mummy nothing is going to happen nothing is going to open up or move um, so lying in bed you're quite um, protected you will also find that there's something around your calves that will be pumping so it will give compression and then it will relax it is important that it does that is to aid your circulation if you don't feel that please ask the nursing staff to check that it is working. Then if you want to have, or if you're ready and you feel like it, and they're going to give you something to eat, the best thing is that they must tilt the bed. So if you lie straight, the bed can tilt up slightly like that, so that it is then easier to eat. And most probably um, the next day's breakfast, that is how you will have that. I will see you the next day. We will teach you how to move in bed um, and um, do some exercises. And the day after, um, we will get up. And then once we start walking, it will be much easier. Um, uh, I am going to organize your brace. So you're going to wear a brace. Um, it's a soft brace, but it helps to prevent you from moving at the level of um, your fusion to make sure that it makes a nice and solid fusion. Um, so you don't need to worry about that, except um, if it's possible, please bring a tight t-shirt or a vest so that we can wear it under the brace. Because if the brace is against the skin, it can irritate the skin. So we usually wear something tight, then the brace, and then the rest of the clothes over it. Um, another thing that I want to, you to be aware of is that usually um, there is proper medication written up. So if you have a lot of pain, please don't be shy, don't try and be strong um, and ask for your medication. Maybe they've forgotten, but it is important that your pain is well managed. It makes getting up so much easier. Um, and then lastly, um, just before you have to start your fast tonight, it is a good idea to have something to eat. So eat something just before your fast start. Um, it will help to stabilize your blood sugar during the fast and then during the operation, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, so I hope you have a good evening. I'm looking forward to see you um, and um, good night.